An Alongapo court chunks the first known anti-terror law case against Aita's Japper Gurung and Junior Ramos. The court says it was a case of mistaken identities. Soldiers who were witnesses made blatant inconsistencies, as both are Aitas who share with other Aitas common physical characteristics of dark skin tones, short stature, and curly hair. The judge also orders the release of Gurung and Ramos from the Alongapot City Jail, where they have been detained since August 2020. The court also says the warrantless arrest of the two was unlawful. The government accused the two Aitas of being members of the armed New People's Army, who shot at the soldiers and killed one. Prosecutors charged them under Section 4 or committing terrorism under the law. Gurung and Ramos were initially represented by the Progressive National Union of People's Lawyers, but the government convinced them to drop NUPL and be represented instead by the Public Attorney's Office. The lower court did not tackle the constitutionality of the highly contested anti-terrorism law. Meantime, the Anti-Terror Council, or ATC, designates the National Democratic Front of the Philippines, or NDFP, as a terror group. In a resolution dated June 23, but recently uploaded on its website, the ATC says members of the NDF continue to lure and or recruit people to join the New People's Army. The CPP NPA was designated as a terror group back in December 2020. After five years of flip-flops, jokes, and contradicting statements, President Rodrigo Duterte makes it clear where he stands on China's aggression in the West Philippine Sea. The president's actions and statements so far reveals an obvious pattern of appeasing China. Read this in-depth piece by Sofia Tomacruz and Jairo Boliedo, Duterte and the West Philippine Sea, A Strategy of Failed Compromises.